If you need to scrape Airbnb reviews from a specific listing or Airbnb host, we'll show you how to legally do this just by browsing through Airbnb using only your web browser. We'll start by scraping all of the reviews for any public listing on Airbnb. You can do a search to whatever area you want and apply any of these housing type filters, pricing filters, bedroom, bathroom filters, or anything else that will help you narrow down your search to only scrape the reviews from properties relevant to what you're searching for. So on this tile view here on the left-hand side of the page, you can see the number of reviews, for example, 246, 335. So I suggest picking a listing with at least some reviews. We're gonna pick this one for this video. Once the page loads, we can click down to the number of reviews to load them all up. Now to scrape all 205 of these reviews, we want to record our network web traffic. So right click on the page and hit inspect to open up developer tools, which will automatically begin recording your web traffic to capture what the Airbnb API sends to your web browser. Now that we're recording, click refresh here to have Airbnb resend that initial set of data to your browser. And if we go under the network tab under this filter bar here, we can type in reviews slash and we'll see the network requests used to populate the data on the front end. You click preview here, you can see the actual structured JSON data used to show the reviews on Airbnb coming directly from the Airbnb API. We can see the text of the review, when it was left, and a whole bunch of other metadata here, such as the actual rating, how long they stayed, and a few other things. One thing to note is the browser actually recorded two of these requests. We can see them here. One is from a service worker. So we actually have duplicates loaded in the browser here, which means when we get this data out of the browser, we'll need to deduplicate it so we don't have double the results. Now to load the rest of the reviews, just go back and keep scrolling down and Airbnb will just keep sending more and more reviews from that listing to your browser. One thing to note here is sometimes these are translated. So I'm highlighting here Spanish text, but that doesn't actually show up in the page. The page displays this localized review comments instead, so they translate the Spanish to the English, so we can see that text here on the web page. So be on the lookout for that if you're scraping reviews in multiple languages. Now to get all this combined data out of the browser, click this down arrow right under the network tab called export har to save all this to your computer. Now to get the data out of the har file, check out the link in the description to my no code Airbnb scraper featuring the har file web scraper, which works with any har file, not just from Airbnb. Drag and drop the HAR file here, and it will auto-magically group together all of these related requests for you, so you have all of these 40 requests in one place to get the data out of. And you can download that raw JSON using these blue links here. And remember, since these are duplicated, you wanna download every other one if you don't wanna do deduplication. So click every other blue link here to save all this raw JSON to your downloads folder, and then you can process it with your own code if you're comfortable working with JSON. But if you just want this as a combined CSV file and have a free account with our service, click parse group here, and you can download up to 10 rows of this data for free. So here we notice we have 205 reviews on the official Airbnb website, but you'll notice here we have 410 rows in Excel. So to deduplicate, make sure you look for the reviews.id column and select the deduplicate option here. This will be similar in Google Sheets or whatever you're using and make sure you get rid of the duplicates. So here it removed 205 duplicates and we have 205 unique values remaining. You'll see the same columns I showed you earlier in the web browser. So we can see the raw text of the review Keep in mind, this may be in Spanish. It'll also be in HTML, so you may want to remove these funny characters if you're doing natural language processing. You can see the timestamp of when it's created. Sometimes it'll show you how long they stayed. Otherwise, it'll tell you other random things, like if they stayed with kids. So if that's useful to you, you can filter that out. You can also see the raw numerical rating here out of five stars. Data about the reviewers, in case you want to stalk them and see what kind of people are staying at your competitors' places. You can look them up with this URL here, just put airbnb.com before it. And if the review was translated and you want the English version, check out localizedreview.comments. It will only be populated when it was translated. You can see that data here. So when this column has data in it, you probably want to use it to override the regular comments field. That way you have all of the comments in one language. So that's great if you want to scrape all the reviews for one listing, but what if you want to get a bunch of listings together? For example, this host here has a lot of listings. So what if we just instead scrape all of their reviews? We can get a combined set of listings and reviews all in one scrape. To do this, go to the host page, right click and hit inspect just like before to open up developer tools and record the network web traffic and then refresh the page. Now that we're recording what the Airbnb API is sending to our browser, go under the all reviews and click show more reviews. 
So unfortunately, this is not going to capture the first set of reviews. It'll only begin capturing when we load more and more reviews here. We can see this data under the network tab. Also, I found that after recording, Airbnb is gonna cut you off after 500 reviews. So this is only gonna be good if you need to get a sample from a host. Don't expect to get all of the reviews if they have more than 500. So you can see basically it's the same data here in the network tab. I'm not gonna go too deep into it. We can see the raw text here and it's under the translated key if it's been translated, which is a little bit different from what we saw last time. You also get the listing ID for each review since it's gonna span multiple listings. To look it up on Airbnb, go to airbnb.com slash room slash listing ID. So just paste that in here and I can jump to any of these listings with the reviews so I can look them up. So to scrape all of this host's reviews, you just keep scrolling down like we did before, but this time you have to click a button. So this will load up to 500 additional reviews. So you're not gonna be able to get all of them if the host has more than 500 reviews, unfortunately. To get all the data out of the browser, we click the down arrow under the network tab called export har and save it under a different name. I named mine dash host so I don't override the other file. Then drag and drop it to the link in the description so we can parse out the har file just like before. And it's gonna show us this huge group here with 100 requests. It's actually 50 requests, each having 10 each because these are duplicated. Again, you can click every other of these blue links to download the raw JSON to your downloads folder if you wanna process these using your own code. Or you can use our freemium service to download up to 10 rows of this data per day and combine CSV. So again, this is gonna be duplicated, so be sure to deduplicate this by the ID column as we did in the earlier example. Otherwise, you'll get two of every review. And this data is gonna be basically the same as I showed you earlier, except the translation data is a little bit different, and you also get the listing ID returned under entity ID, as well as listing.id. That way you were able to look up the individual listings if you'd like to compare them with the individual reviews. And here the translation is under translation.comments instead of that localized listings and you can see basically the same fields here. So just be on the lookout for that. So hope you guys found that useful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments or if there's anything else you'd like me to show you how to scrape. And check out this next video here on how to scrape Airbnb listings for any market using the same HAR file web scraping approach. Thanks for watching until the end. Like and subscribe for more.